You'll all see in Oroneo. But today, we play something that actually rivals out Oroneo. That actually is on the same level. That actually beats them. Th that's up to you to decide. <laughs> Voice <crack. laughs> Today, we play Corrupt Box. And I actually have some good inputs in this video. That's all stuff. So, enjoy the video. Let's get right into the Detective Force. And this is uh, version 1 with Party Man. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Lower all that. Lower sounds. We're gonna solve it. It's gonna be fun. Let's go, boys. Okay, first guy. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're slow. <laughs> bro. Bro. Calm down, bro. With the river, bro. It's going everywhere. I caught it. Ugh. Holy shit. Ah, that's a lot of text. All right. So we have Kevin Pudger. First host. Age 34. Male. Corrupted. Yes. Dead. Yes. While Patrick Everest was working, he happened to have knocked over a test tube filled with an unknown black liquid chemical. Why, why, do, why does it always have to be a black liquid? Why can't it just be like a pink one? Thinking it was no issue at first. He sent the facility's janitor, Kevin Pudger. Oh, so this is Kevin Pudger. Oh, no. Kevin tried to clean it up, but Kevin slipped and landed face to first onto the black liquid kevin this caused it to grow all twitchy and make weird loud sounds with the smoke which attracted patrick's attention he went over to see what was going on and found kevin rubbing his eyes a little too hard suddenly the top of kevin's head burst open splattering some brain matter a bit before he looks at patrick <laughs> seeing that unsettling smile patrick was unsure what to do so he panicked and tried to get the staff to help him for further research and purposes kevin was kept in containment cell Three years later, he was found outside the cell getting all aggressive. He ended up being shot in the torso with a shotgun and being left to bleed out to death. So we started off with just falling straight down, smudging all up in that fucking shit. And then he got kept in a containment cell, not really dead. And then he got aggressive three years that's later, and that's when boy. he died. But that's cool, that's cool. That's a, that's a long story, bro. It's gonna, it's gonna take a while, but we'll we get there, we'll get there. Number two, rest in peace, Kevin. Rest in peace, Kevin. <laughs> Brother! What happened here? Bro, he has turned into a fucking nuclear bomb! But we have George Rullison, age 27. Mm. He is corrupted and he is also dead. Well, th th one of the staff members that helped contain Kevin Pudger while he was corrupted. Oh, unfortunately, some of the corrupted liquid touched George's skin while <laughs> doing so. And he started shaking. When a fellow staff member asked if it was alright, his face suddenly split in four. Creating a new pulsating mouth beneath the split face. He caused an outbreak. Ha! What? So he got a new mouth like under his face. Cause a little drop of just black juice hit him. <laughs> his corrupted form ended up corrupting three workers as well as devouring one of them to death with said the pulsating mouth. The staff were Capital T! The staff were unable to contain him, so they just gunned him down <laughs> instead. American moment! Hey bro, we can't get you! <laughs> of course, killing him was just like killing one rat in an infestation. Don't talk about human life this way, bro. It might be a lot of rats in the sewers, but one rat is also one life. I'm not vegan. I eat animals. Slay. <laughs> so, uh, this guy just go. Uh, this is why you don't help people. You see Kevin on the floor, right? It's Kevin. Uh, he lays there. Uh, 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 and, and you try to, like, you want help? And then a little drop of the, the black liquid. <laughs> and you're dead. Like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I don't know. In Last of Us, what happens if you help people? You die, okay? My, I rest my case. I rest my case. I can't speak. Ah, Holy shit! Truly, he said American mullet. Why does he have a mullet? I hope, I hope Mr. American will come and rescue us. What do we have? Neister, age 24. Is Neister 24? I don't think, I don't think Neister 24. Is Neister 24? No, he can't be 24. Can he be 24? Age, <laughs> gender male. Corrupted, no. Dead, no. Pfft, let's go, Neister. Okay, so even before the corrupted outbreak, there was problems as Patrick was desperately kidnapping people for them to... So Patrick is the owner, I hope, of this whole facility thing, experiment, okay? Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah, he was desperately kidnapping people... <laughs> For them to volunteer for his experiment. One of them was Neister who was knocked cold and dragged out of home. Uh, leaving Lilac and the kids somewhere. No, 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 not the Lilac. <laughs> not the Lilac. <laughs> Fuck, okay. Neister later woke up in the middle of a hall and looked around. The place... Capital T! The place seemed empty at first. But then he saw someone covered in a black goop trying to consume someone. So he ran away. Neister ran into a supply... <laughs> Neister... <laughs> I can't, I have like ADHD today, what the f- He ran into a supply closet and found a shotgun to fend himself with. Just a good old pump action the staff once used. 
He picks it up and walks out of the supply closet to fend off the corrupted before running away. After a long week of surviving some intense fights, even killing Patrick himself, he finally managed to escape the place. But he has brushed over everything after a long week of surviving some intense fights. Bro, a week in this shit. Kill Patrick as well, okay? And you escaped. A major step closer to making it back home. Now all he has to do is find out where the hell he is. I guess Patrick, is, his son started working. Maybe he's not the owner, but because he might just be kidnapped. You know, you send out... If you see Godfather, you send out your uh, little boys. to you know... Fuck that guy. Put a horse in that guy's bed. You know, all that. So that guy, like, yeah, okay. Go out there, you know, snatch the kids from the street. That's what they're doing. But, however, let's see the guy four. Hey. Hey, it's your boy. So, yeah. Oh, it's your boy with the rap. I can't rap. All right. So we have Gerald Palmer, age 28, male, not dead and not corrupted. Beautiful. He's known as a major slacker in the facility. That sounds like it could be me. He, he's also always tired each morning and sometimes doesn't even bother trying to stay awake. Fuck, that's really me. Nobody even noticed he quit his job at the time two weeks before the corrupted food became a problem. Well, since I'm an investigator... Glass of... Well, I'm gonna need my shirt. Well, well, well. Look, I, ah. So this guy's slacking, alright? Listen up, listen up. This guy's slacking. Why is he slacking? Because he has a plan in here. So, nobody knows that he's kind of there. They don't even care about him. They don't even notice that they quit the job two weeks before the corrupted fluid became a problem. Okay. So tell me why does he quit two weeks before the corrupted thing? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Did you also know that uh, the owner of uh, the Twin Towers got a uh, like building uh, life insurance uh, one year before uh, the collapse? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I see it somewhere, okay? You know, I feel like it's the same shit. He, he, he knew, he planned something. He planned something to happen. He's an inside job. I'm not saying that 9-11 was. I'm just joking with rumors that I heard. Don't, don't think that I'm... I'm not, it's a, it's a tragic, it's a, it's a tragedy. I think this guy doesn't have, uh, as we say in Swedish, han har inte rent mjöl i påsen. If you know, you know. Uh, that means like, you don't have clean powder in your powder bag. <laughs> what the fuck? So this guy is sus. I'm sus on this guy. Fucking Gerald Parler. You're a bitch. Smash? What? The, what is going on? This, this something is corrupted uh, in, in a lot of ways. Every peril, age 27, non-binary. So we have uh, corruption. Yeah, yeah, it's corrupted and dead. One of the staff that George Rawlinson attacked while corrupted. At first, it seemed. Oh, capital A! At first, it seemed just fine until Avery started losing hair and a melty eye problem. Could be cancer. Suddenly, the right eye popped out and their torso split open, forming a second mouth that the corrupted being uses to be just as aggressive as George was when corrupted. They began going after staff as well, but luckily, it didn't cause too much harm before being shot to death as well. Okay, so, so, America, yeah, still, that's my only joke with guns. It's just America. Yeah, funny guy. Okay, people, the, the, the guys that get uh, intoxicated from the shit, you know? They kind of just go absolute bonkers. That's what we gotta know. They, uh, they, they, they wanna fuck everyone up. And I think that Mr. Hobo, Mr. Lazyman that left is planted something in this. That's all we know for now. Let's see all the bees together. Just see if we can have anything to pop with. Uh, let's go into effects then. You have no head. Oh. Hey, Baj. You look like you get like an afro when you... That's crazy. Uh. This bass feels really like rap drill heavy and then you just have like this type of shit. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's something. So we have Jeremy, oh, age 31, male, uh, corrupted and dead. So Jeremy got corrupted later on, when people thought the corruption problem was at the very la least humbled. Nobody bothered to clean the corrupted ooze, which caused Jeremy oh, to no only slip on the uh, corrupted. Oh yeah, he slipped on the liquid, okay good. He got corrupted and began spreading it even further since the facility kind of just forgot about it. Making it become a bigger deal. But guys, what the fuck are you doing? So you think that it's over and then you just make it a bigger deal again because you don't... It's like with COVID. When COVID first came, it was like, yeah, shut everything down. Oh, let's open it everything up again. And boom, a second wave hit and everything fucking turned to shambles. Later on, Nisar encountered him and shot him in the head with his shotgun. What? But that isn't the end of him. The only difference is the top half of his head was removed, making a pulsating bubble. So Nisar had to unload an entire mag into the corrupted fella to finally kill him. Damn, bro, Nisar is going badass in these guys. How did he die? 
be shot in the face. Did you know? Philosophy time. This is not you. This is not yours. This, this is not yours. This is not yours. Your eyes, they are not who you are. Like, they, these are only your, like, armor. Like, you have your body, it's your armor. The, the only thing that you are is inside your brain. You're only your thoughts and what, you know, what kind of what you see. That, that's, yeah, you can thank your eyes for that. Everything that you touch. That I can do this. See in the straight my brain. I am only in my brain. So like, for people to look, be born to look good, I fucking unfair. You know, it's not who they are. It's just they, they, their their shield. It's not yeah. So if he's being shot in the head, he should not be able to be alive. Basically. As well, same thing. Should be alive. Part of the head is gone. Yeah. Kind of nice melody. Kind of nice melody. I mean, it's a soft sound. It's a soft. We're not even into subtle. Sally Revstein, Sally Taylor. If you if you play the uh, letter two, it's oh that's a story for another time. Holy shit! It was my first gay encounter in my life, and it was really embarrassing. But we will not talk about that now. Uh, <laughs> okay, Sally Revstein, age twenty nine, gender female, corrupted, yes, and not dead. What do you mean? Okay, so I'm not a victim of George Rallis's corrupted attack. Well, George, George bit off her face. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. Yeah. <laughs> George bit off her face and she began drooling the corrupted liquid. Staff enhancement suits had to put her in a cell. Luckily, she was too aggressive while corrupted. She was just stumbling around and drooling the liquid. Neeser finds her. <laughs> Neeser finds everyone, bro. Neeser. What, what are you doing? I think Neeser is also something. Up. He is he is sketchy. Well, apparently, he like got out. So maybe he actually is good at this. Neeser finds her sitting in a containment cell. Since she isn't able to attack him. She just, he just left her alone. Yeah, bro. Needs to raise simple for all the women. <laughs> he got lie like, bro. That, 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 that's all that she wrote. Uh, that's good, good. <laughs> hey, YouTube. Uh, yes, quick reminder. That this is, this is all a game, okay? Uh, all right, this one is gonna take that. Let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, I hope Nisa is involved with this guy. Ooh, that's fucking creep, actually. Thank you. <laughs> just one, right? Yeah. Still, I feel like it's just average sounds. Um, a guy hanging from the tree. Could be worse. David Sherlon, age 44, male. So he, this guy was a corrupted, but he's still dead, as we can see. Yeah, okay. So David was an ex ferrotech employee who quit and decided to work at Patrick's facility instead, thanks to the higher pay. And he gets to see less disturbing things happen to the people now that he's working with ferrofluid anymore. Oh, so this is like in the same universe that the ferrofluid, like Oreneo shit. So it's in the Oreneo universe. This is Loki Oreneo then. Oh, yes, baby. Okay, that's crazy. That's nice. That's nice. We love Oreneo. We love Oreneo. He was hired two years before the corrupted fluid was a thing. When he first saw people getting corrupted from the spill, he began getting beat. PSTD. He ran away from the scene. He just ran away. Two weeks later, he was found dead by a hanging himself. He couldn't take the corruption he saw happening because it reminded him of ferrofluid. Weak mentality. Weak mentality. If your job is to, you know, kind of be in those kind of facilities, you should be prepared. You should be prepared to step out. Look at what Nisar had done, alright? He got dragged into this, alright? Mr. David Sherlon, you fucking pussy. He got right into this, and he just killed everyone. And now we try to escape. What did you do? Oh, you go maybe work for a high salary. Oh no, it's happening. Let's kill myself. No, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't kill yourself. Okay, that, that's that's a good put, a good morale lesson of today. Okay, this guy then. Okay, I was going with that. Ah. Kenneth McCallow, age 45, a male and uh, dead and corrupted. One of the workers, George Rawson, attacked while corrupted. The moment Kenneth got corrupted, he tried to snap his own neck so that he, so that the corruption won't take effect. But it was too late. His neck snapped back into position before the snaps it. Whoa! But it was too late. His neck snapped back into position before he snaps it again, just to look at all the staff behind him. He then snapped it back forward and ran away. <laughs> Needs to cut his blader and blows his brains out with his shotgun. As needs to do, see a shotgun moment. He kills everyone. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see. We waited for Patrick to, to show up because now these are just like people. The, the Nisa got kidnapped. One guy left the facility. Another one, other guys have just kind of down, died. You know, it is, it's the way it is. Age nine. What the fuck, bro? So Caleb Thiel, male, uh, not corrupted but dead. Yikes, bro. We have dedicated on the hand, boys. Uh, 
YouTube is on a game. Caleb Till was a very gullible kid. He has proven to be even more gullible after his mom went to prison. Now he's in the hands of Patrick Avarice, who said he was gonna take care of him. <sighs> Yikes. At the time before Patrick was desperate, he asked if anyone would like to volunteer for one important experiment to try to find a way to communicate through the afterlife. Just bribing kids for human experiences? Sounds amazing! Caleb wanted to volunteer simply, assuming he's just going on a fun little adventure. <laughs> this is... Oh, this is screaming red flags! Do this to a kid is messed up. But in Patrick's eyes, a volunteer is a volunteer nonetheless. So he accepted the kid as a volunteer. Well, the game is the game. Two days later, Patrick strapped Caleb to a board and told him to be ready. Promising something special if this works. Oh no, I don't like this. Something special! Hey, Caleb! You will get something special when you're done, good boy. Oh, no! You see, he's a pedo. He's a pedo. Patrick then attaches a radio to his chest and turns it on. Patrick then grabs a gun and shoots Caleb in the head. Great experiment. <laughs> Patrick then sends his employees to try to talk to him in the afterlife through their radio. All they hear is just static. <laughs> this isn't working. Wow, bro. You had to try it on the kid? You couldn't just take one of the older guys that already dead? No, you just took a little kid. Hey, kid. Wanna be an experiment? Sit down. Close your eyes. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> that, that, that's beautiful. Holy shit. All right. I like that. Uh, so let, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Let's see what the melody is. The Thunderbolt. Th oh, Thunder. Are you, are you Tesla? Nikola Tesla. What do you mean? Shuffle, boy. You got some damn cool lightning, boy. Are you gonna do some crazy shit now? Are you really probably gonna do some crazy shit? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Todd Ork, 54. General Mail. Uh, corrupted, no dead. Yes. Okay, so Pedro was starting to get desperate to profit off learning how it's is to be dead. So he decides to try reviving someone and ask them how it is. He would use fairy fluid to try it. But fairy fluid is expensive and confusing to work with. So he wanted to choose a different method. He tried using electricity instead. Oh, I say it is <laughs> it's Nikola Tesla. What do you mean? Okay. He grabs a broken antenna, wraps it with copper wire and, and takes the corpse of a past dead worker. Todd Arch. Okay, who slipped and snapped his neck from falling down the stairs. Bro, he did not slip and fall down the stairs. That's just something you make up. This guy got killed by someone. He took the antenna and stabbed it through his head to electrocute and trying to revive the man. It worked for a small while until he just fell over and died again. So Patrick desperately electrocuted him again and went overboard. His eye began popping out as his shirt was slowly ripping up from all the heat. Eventually, Tom's course was burned to a crisp. Patrick's only response was, eh. What of a shot. How do you expect to revive him? By putting a pole in his head. At least just, you know, pull a strap on the head. And you know, don't, don't pierce his brain, bro. It's what we've been talking. You know, the brain is who you are. He wasn't even corrupted. He just, it was just a corpse they just kind of found. But how did he die if he wasn't corrupted? Maybe it's someone, maybe, 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 maybe someone killed him. Have you thought about that one? Huh? 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 Yeah. Let's see. TV radio. Oh. Oh, it's gotta go far, yeah, it's gotta be more than my heart, yeah, yeah, fuck a fart, yeah, I'm in the stall, yeah, uh, uh. Name is Penis, model used for three years, gender, f fucking eyes, what? Uh, corrupt, uh, uh, not dead, not corrupted. After radio on Caleb didn't work, the team then replaced the radio with this thing. What was meant to be a, a comms device has been sitting in the closet for a year, being all dusty. With no better ideas, the staff hooked this up to the radio. There's no good news and bad news to this. The good news... Oh, there is good news and bad news to this. <laughs> the good news is uh, it's not playing uh, static anymore. Bad news is it's just playing rapid incoherent beeps. No, it was kind of fire. What do you mean? Maybe this uh, beep them. Listen up. Maybe this beep. Is someone screaming in the app? Like, Eli, like maybe this is starting to work. Maybe that's what we're gonna find out in Corrupt Box 2. Let's see, what are you doing? Hey! Hey! Hey, yeah! Ali Kirtul, age 36, male, uh, corrupted, yes, and dead, yes. During a massive outbreak of corruption, he tried to hide in the freezer to avoid being corrupted. Unfortunately, this was a mistake as he was on the verge of dying from hypothermia. Since he was a freezer, he was hiding him. So he climbed out of the freezer. 
Bro, <laughs> smart man, smart man. Hide out of the freezer, then don't hide out of the freezer. Probably gonna die when you step out of the freezer. He happened to have walked out of the freezer in front of three people who were corrupted and ended up getting corrupted himself. Yep, as I said, smart man. Later on, he tried to attack Neister from behind, but his footsteps were heard, so Neister turned around so and shot him. Bro, how many kills do Nisa has killed like half the people? But why can't Nisa just kill the ones that, are, that that's like already there, you know? Why the, because now a lot of people die like innocently because they like get corrupted from the corrupted ones. But Nisa, he just kills the ones that get corrupted from the corrupted ones and then the corrupted ones. So now you get two instead of just one. Yeah, you know, that's, that's messed up. Lore, lore, you need to fix it, lore. Lore, uh, lore. Uh. Okay, let's see your fourth melody. Oh! Wait. Oh, fuck, yeah. Help, it says help. Don't trust Patrick, I think he said. I think he said don't trust Patrick. Patrick is a weird guy, okay? I have, I actually feel like I've been doing some good detective. I feel like I have some, uh, I'm, I'm not too far off, okay? Monster, monster, Drake. Whoa. Anthony Derval, age 20, 56, male. How, is this a male? <laughs> okay, this is a TV, but all right. He used to be Patrick. Average right hand man since six years before the corruption outbreaks. He's been with him through uh, hell and back, but one day that kind of changed. Two weeks after the corruption started, at the time Patrick became a control freak, Anthony began questioning Patrick for his actions and is slowly getting concerned of his behavior. Patrick keeps trying to talk him down, but the moment Anthony mentions, He's starting to feel uncomfortable around him. That kind of sets off Patrick and his ego. So Patrick, yeah, Patrick has got some sort of guard complex, it seems like, alright? Three days later, Patrick smelt an old TV against Anthony said and pun pushed him pushed him into the corrupted liquid, leaving the room after doing so. Later on, corrupted Anthony finds Patrick and goes to attack him, only to be shot through the head with Patrick's revolver. So six years as like an alliance. He got he became a control freak. Fuck you hit him with a TV and they shot him. And that's what makes me think that this kid is 56 years old. I don't think Patrick would uh, be like uh, that close to someone older than him because if he has somewhat of an ego ego like ego in the ground you know he takes advantage of you know the age difference if you're older you have more power that makes me think that he's at least 60 years old this guy this patrick guy so he's been through this for many many years okay he's been working a long time in this uh, he's experienced he has time to fuck up and he's done a lot of shit in his life so patrick is a powerful man you know a lot of rich people are kind of old a lot of presidents are kind of old why because power uh, scales up when you're older. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but let's keep going. Okay, so, uh, yeah, revolver. Let's see. No, this is creepy. Oh, I kind of feel bad for this dude. Tim, okay, fuck, his name is Tim. Fuck Tim. Tim McGurdle, age 10. Male, this is a dead or corrupted, but he looks so scared. <laughs> he looks so scared. Okay. I root for Timmy, come on Timmy, you can do this. Nistor, while on his journey to fight for his way out of this place, discovers Timmy, a kid in pajamas holding a whole, oh, hiding in a cabinet with a music box he used to try to calm himself down when nobody corrupted is around. No, no, this is sad, this is a sad story. Because Timmy is a corrupted or an arrogant prick, Nistor decides to tell to help the shell and keep it by his side. Let's go Nistor! That's the man we're about to see. Don't shoot him. You can't fucking shoot him. Later on, Nisar finds an air duct leading outside. It's too small for Nisar, but Timmy is able to crawl through it. So after one last goodbye, Timmy crawls through, makes it outside and runs away. Timmy, you're a good man, Timmy. Nisar can all hope the kid makes it out, makes it to safety. Nisar, bro, you, ugh, you need to fight Timmy. I like Timmy, okay? In, in Corrupt Books 2, you better go and make sure Timmy is alive, you know? Where is his parents? You know, you 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 can you, you can take him out of your wings. You you can <laughs> look how scared he is. Tim, need to do something about it. Tim is probably gonna die instantly. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Let's move into voices now. Um, gas chamber boy. Oi. Yeah. <laughs> Suit model. That's. That's a cool sound. It sounds shit, but it's, it's a fucking cool sound. Isn't that like a zombie sound? Yeah. That's a good zombie. So now we have Matthew Gretz. All right. Age 40 male. Uh, not dead, but corrupted. Uh, so after what happened to him, a uh, suit model was the exact hazmat suit model staff have been using when they're trying to deal with someone that was corrupted. All right. 
for the most part it works, but there has been one unfortunate instance when security staff Matthew Gretz went to go put a suit on to deal with George Rolson. He failed to notice a drop of the fluid inside the suit. How did it get inside the suit, you may ask? It seeped onto his skin and made him start twitching. Other staff members looked at him concerned. Matthew Gretz wasn't one to joke around, so they knew full well this isn't a prank. He then started <laughs> a prank, bro. Okay. He then started coughing up blood and the corrupted liquid being visible in the visor. Before his mind got fully corrupted, he let out those silent conscious words. It's too late for me. Put me in a cell. The other staff that was still in the room complied and threw him in a cell as the corruption hits. He now just sits in a containment cell, twitching violently and spouting random noises. Why is there a little bit of a Fluid inside the suit. Laser guy that left two weeks before and no one noticed. Planted that. If you use your brain and you realize that, I think he planted that. Yes, sir. I think that he's in on this, you know. Why would the otherwise be that inside the suit? How would that come inside the suit? You know, it doesn't make sense unless it's an inside job. And we all know what inside jobs lead to. Destruction. Let's see it. Next guy. Oi! <laughs> Holy shit, bro. That's it? Tragic, dramatic, Peter, 37, age, gender, male, and a bit unsure, but don't know if he's dead, we're just unsure if he's alive and uh, shit. Oh, fuck me, that's horrifying, oh, bad. Patrick Avarice will not be forgiven. Patrick will not be forgiven. Ha! Because this guy is horrifying. If he's good, uh, he's kind of on our side. He doesn't like Patrick, and I'm not sure we like Patrick either. If Patrick, if you touch him... Fuck yeah! You, I will kill you personally. That might be a soft gun. But you don't know what other guys I have. I don't have one, I don't live in America still. Haha, <laughs> fun America, yo! What? Let me call her. Holy shit, we have some sort of hostage situation now. Alex Nart, age 32 male, uh, not dead and not corrupted. This Dofus was found trying to break into the facility, so we just tranquilized him. Who is we? Who, who is we? Who, I, now my dad is calling me. Someone, we are, we are right in the document. I don't know who we are, though. Yeah, we tranquilized him, taped his mouth shut and taped his wrist to a chair. We were gonna interrogate him about his actions later. But one small issue. We kind of forgot about him. And now he's been sitting there for six weeks on the verge of starvation. Oh, well. <laughs> that fucking mean. Okay, so who is right in this then? That's, that's, that's interesting. Uh, let's continue then. Someone is right in this. Inmate. Okay, interesting. Samantha Thiel, age 46, not corrupted and not dead. She is, she is a mother of a single child who usually had to do all the parenting herself because her husband is mostly forced away working long hours. One day she was afraid of murder as someone smeared fake blood all over her house's interior while her and her son were away, leading the FBI to have to take her away to prison for life. Ha! Huh? Leaving her son trusted with someone else. Taking while she was taking away, she saw someone in a blue suit staring menacingly at her. She now faces life in prison for a crime she didn't commit. She just hopes her child is alright. That child might probably be Timmy. Fuck! Or the guy, or the kid that just kind of. What about? How did that kid? Oh yeah, wait. I need to see this kid. This nine-year-old. Yeah, he won't tear. Okay, so yeah, I guess either Timmy or that nine-year-old. Caleb, holy shit. Uh, but wait, is there something else with this? Of course. Patrick uh, came into this girl's house. They had a re relation in the past. Uh, you know, he came to the house, smeared blood all over the place. Uh, you know, and then she knew he knew that this girl will get life sentence. So then he could be like, hey, Caleb, do you want to volunteer? No one could stop him, you know, because no one was watching over him. Uh, and then he just kind of took him. Uh, kill him, and this girl won't even know about it because she's in prison. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Let's see the last guy. Fuck. I get shivers now. I get shivers. I need get shivers. I don't like it. Don't jump here, me, you piece of shit. Don't jump here, me, you piece of fucking shit. Okay, okay. And so we meet. I was right, bro. I was right. Patrick Avers, age 83. I said he was at least 60. All right. Excuse me, FBI? Hire me? Gender male. Corrupted. No. Dead. The man who started it all. Patrick. Yeah, but that's also what I said. That, that I said that Patrick was desperately kidnapping people for them to volunteer. 
That's what I mean. It wasn't really Patrick. It was, I said that there was something. It was someone below him. You know, he stares at other people. I, I, I was trying to tell him, okay. Uh, Patrick Edwards was never a good man. Well, don't judge. Morale is what we make it to be. From kidnapping test subjects to try to kill them. Okay, who was a bad man? <laughs> From kidnapping test subjects to try to kill them. To causing the whole corruption outbreak. And even seeing it as an opportunity to God complex. I said so! I said so! His greed is all he cares about. He only wanted to profit. It's begin he began getting desperate with his experiment. Wanted to speak to the dead only because of the attention and profit he would get because of it. Several weeks after the corruption began, he finally guessed what he deserves when encountering Nietzsche out of where he kidnapped him. They have a gunfight back and forth that takes long to- Yeah, oh yeah, we knew Nietzsche killed him. Why am I surprised? They have a gunshot back and forth that takes long despite Patrick bringing a revolver and Nisa bringing a shotgun. But eventually Patrick's gun cylinder run out of bullets and Nisa gets the upper hand because of that. Patrick gets smacked to the floor and locks down the barrel of the shotgun Nisa has. With his last breath he says see you in the unknown. Before getting his brains blown out. Good riddance. Because with the TV it seems like this guy can't be from the dead. Because with the TV you can hear like uh, with the second TV attempt. It was static. It was like dee nee 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 nee. Maybe that's a sign of actually dead people speaking. I think that this guy already succeeded. And in Corrupt Box 2, I think that we will see that. And we will kind of see where Timmy goes. Uh, if Nisir can solve it, I think. And I think that, yeah, this guy is not over. He might be dead, but it's not over. I was right with a lot of things in this, I feel. I feel. Uh, now, honestly, uh, let's... Oi. Oi. Not even I love. Was that reveal? Okay, um, <laughs> not that my read that actually. Now we're gonna see the, uh, the, the sequel, guys. It's a secret polo, man. Okay, uh, unlock. Okay, this is Peter. Okay, he will not be forgiven. So P he did something horrible to Peter, and this is what Peter said. Uh, let's go uh, back a bit. Uh, we had Caleb Till, I guess. Caleb Till is the, is the son to Peter Till. And that's why Peter is fucking mad, because I guess that he killed him and then kind of took Caleb. Okay, I have nothing now. All thanks to that capitalist. What he did was inexcusable. First, he framed my wife. I was right again! I'm sick, bro! I'm sick, bro! First he framed my wife, then he killed my son. And then after he found out I knew what he did, he locked me in a room where I was intended to starve to death. This is my final note. I hope that Patrick Averis finally gets me the show soon. He's gone on the power trip for too long. Wait! But I intended to start Where I was intended to start to death? Well, this guy wasn't intended to start to death. I kind of just forgot about this guy. I don't know what this guy is. Maybe it is the same guy, I just don't know. But I was right with the framing stuff. I was right with all that, that they could take Timmy. Holy shit, I'm a smart. Uh, let's see the second now, because now we know what, what happened with Peter. Uh, he got, he got kind of scammed. He got kind of scammed. This is a corrupted fluid document. As, it's, uh, as it is unsure what Patrick Everest was trying to make with this fluid, it spilled out, it spilled, and the moment the Yandra tried to clean it up, one touch one touch was all it took to take over the individual. From past corruptions, we were able to gather how it works. If an individual's skin touches this fluid, it will take control of their mind and make bizarre physical exchanges in any way, most of the time relating to what they were doing before getting corrupted, and will make the person completely forget a lot of things to take control of them. Most of the time, people who are corrupted act hostile and try their best to infect or even kill another person. Luckily, most of them are easy to gun down and kill, but that didn't stop anything more people ended up getting corrupted and we were unable to find a cure for this besides death i'm actually hyped as fuck now to play the second version because i, I feel like I, I could actually bring something you know I, but that's an hour and 10 minutes recording for me uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this okay right? press like and subscribe if you know you know you know it, it actually does help you know i have a theory about all that but but that's not let's not get into that now i uh, let's go uh, see each other in Crop Box 2, maybe tomorrow, maybe in two days, I don't know, uh, because I'm gonna keep continuing solving this case. Have a good day, uh, bye bye.